Hi, I'm Shoki from Legend Effects and today I came up with this new After Effects tutorial on how to create a revealing text from an ocean surface. Yes, you can do it by yourself. But if you want an advanced version of the project with the revealing image, logo or text with lot of controls, you can download the project from the link in the description. Just don't forget please to subscribe to my channel to enjoy more tutorials like this. In a new After Effects project file, we will start by creating the ocean look. For that, we create a new composition, rename it Ocean, the size is HDTV, and maybe the duration will be 10 seconds. Now we will start simulating the ocean effect. For that, we create a new solid. On that new solid, we add the effect Fractal Noise. We choose the type Dynamic Progressive. As you can see, it's not animated yet. To do that, with Alt on the keyboard, we click on the stopwatch and we add the following expression. Time multiplied by 100. Till now the animation looks fine. We can increase the size of the waves and invert the effect to get this wavy surface. It looks nice in the animation. So, to add more realism to the animation, we will focus on the offset turbulence and we will add this expression time multiplied by 30 comma time multiplied by 30 close the brackets and we will have this wavy surface with an offset that looks real this will be enough for now for the ocean composer let's focus on creating a new composition from the composition that we have already rename it master composition In this composition, we will try to compose the ocean look. So, for that, we'll add a new effect, color correction, tint effect. I will go for blue colors. The first one will be the dark blue color. The second one will be the same color, but a little bit brighter. We have now our ocean look with a wavy surface. Just we'll add a new adjustment layer. Stylize CC plastic to add more glossiness. It will be a shiny surface, for that we'll work on some details. Let's try first to work on the roughness. Increase it a little bit. After that, we can decrease the softness. Continue to play with the setting till you reach the look you want. For me here, I decrease the metalness. I think the result now is promising. Now I think it's time to work on the foam layer. To do that, I have to duplicate the ocean layer, push it to the front. No more need for the tint effect, as I will be working on the raw composition. I will regenerate the foam from the white properties or white zone of the layer. To do that, I will add a curves effect and I will play with the curve to focus more on the white zones like this. These will be my foam layer on the ocean composition. I will change the overlay mode to add and the result will be like this. To emphasize more the foam effect we still can play on the CC plastic setting of the ocean. We can decrease the ambient or the diffuse levels to get this result. You can play with the setting to get an acceptable result, but be careful not to go too extreme. Here, I think it's a satisfying result. The only remaining part now is to create the revealing text composition. For that, I'll create a new composition, rename it Text Holder. It will have the same size as the ocean composition. We will add a new text layer. We will write, for example, here Ocean. I'll try to work in the setting to find the adaptable. 
It's up to you to choose the font or the style of the text. For me, I opted for this one, as I think it will go with the ocean theme. I'll adjust it to the center. and think about how to reveal it. To do that, I will go to the fifth second. I will add a keying effect to the text, keying, inner outer key, and I will play on the edge thin and the edge feather. Add keyframes in the fifth second and go back to the starting of the composition and just input these two values, 25 for both edge thin and edge feather. We will now drag the text holder inside the ocean composition. And let's see what we will have. It's time now to check our effect on the master composition. This is close to our desired result. If we hide the foam layer, we can see clearly how the text is bumping out from the surface. It's somehow the desired effect but we still don't have the colorful result we want. And that's exactly what we we'll have to do now. I will drag and drop a new copy of the text holder composition in the master composition and work with the layer styles. Give it a golden color. And after that, I will work on the bevel and emboss to express more its volume. Change the technique, for example here, the technique setting to chisel hard. Increase the size and that's it. For now, I will push the text pre-composition under the foam layer. As we can see, the foam entities generated by the text are acting as one block, and that's not what we want. To give that more wavy look and make it interacting with the waves, I will add the effect on the foam layer. New effect displacement map. Keep the layer setting targeting itself and increase both horizontal and vertical displacement values. This is almost what we want. Just to avoid the undesired foam on the text, we will duplicate the text holder layer, push it to the front and delay its appearance. We think now that we are close to the desired result. Just maybe here we can just decrease the delay and focus more how to integrate this layer into the ocean and give it a touch of realism. To do that, we can add a drop shadow over the text holder layer, play with the setting, maybe decrease the distance and increase the softness. This touch will blend it more with the ocean composition and to enhance more the blending effect, we can think about something else. I kept it till the end. I change the order of the CC plastic effect and push it in the front over the text layer and look what we have now. The revealing here looks better and the foam surfaces all around the text are generated simultaneously with the edges. But still we can notice their high opacity, so we need some transparency. To give that a better random look, I will go back to the text holder composition, creating a new adjustment layer, add a fractal noise effect that will offer the desired randomness and transparency. We see what we have in the master composition. Yes, maybe we can add more contrast. I think now everything will be fine. Yes, now it's perfect. You can spend more time on adding extra effects to enhance your composition look. As an example here, I added the 4 color gradient effect and limited it to the upper side, pushed it behind the upper text layer. That made it more obvious. The good thing about this project is that you can update your text composition with the content that you want, and the result is always pleasant. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified with the new tutorials.